With less than a minute to go in regulation in LA up double digits, Dennis Schroeder drove into the paint against Devin Booker. And as Schroeder began to elevate, you can see right there toward the basket, Booker delivered a two-handed shove to Schroeder who hit the court hard, rolled out of bounds. Booker given a flagrant two and ejected from the game. Booker obviously frustrated. He scored just 19 on six of 19 shooting in the loss. Jake Crowder also ejected for continuing to talk trash with Schroeder. Max, I'll start with you here. Uh, was this Booker play a dirty one? Yes, of course it was dirty, just like the Chris Paul play was dirty. Look, Devin Booker was frustrated last night. The Lakers' defense was working. They're a great defensive team. They're the best defensive team in basketball. And we knew once Chris Paul was compromised, what I say yesterday, Devin Booker can play on ball. He, he's a combo backcourt guy, but he's best when he can be an offensive weapon. And without Chris Paul creating stuff for him, He's got to do it all himself. The Lakers know that, too. And they did a great job on him. He was frustrated, Stephen A. That was a dirty play. And while he wasn't way up in the air, it was also kind of a dangerous play. And Chris Paul's play on LeBron was the same. And I got to say, the way we look at someone like Belichick, and maybe that's taking it too far because he's really been scandalized. But some dudes are so competitive, we know they'll bend the rules if they think they can get away with it to help them. Chris Paul is one of those guys for me. I think it's having an effect on the team. He's ultra competitive. He gets away with what he can get away with. And Devin Booker tried it last night, and he got caught. First of all, it was a dirty play, and he deserved to be ejected. I understand that. But let, let, let's pump the brakes. I've seen far worse. The game is so incredibly soft these days. I mean, please. Uh, you know, uh, a shooter was a, a barely a, a, an inch off the ground when he got shoved. I mean, again, you got to call the eject. You got to call a flagrant foul. It's got to be an ejection. I saw Devin Booker uh, speaking before he got ejected, and you could just see their level of frustration because their whole thing is that, man, if CP3 were healthy, we could take these guys. We could take these guys. They know we compromise. They talk and smack. They're trying to big boy us. They're getting physical. And by the way, it is difficult. Uh, and I feel sorry for Monty Williams to a degree. I've got several, several plays that I've looked at. It is difficult to coach against LeBron James because LeBron James gets calls that other people don't get. LeBron James gets a lot of favorable treatment, even though there are times where this physicality that's exerted against him um, that, that, that doesn't get called enough in his favor, I'll give him that as well. But there are times where, you know what, you see plays that are called against another team. It could be traveling. It could be anything. They get called against another team that never get called against LeBron James. And that's very, very frustrating for an opposing coach. And it's frustrating for other players. And when you combine that with CP3 not being healthy – it is a challenge for Phoenix. You can see it written all over Devin Booker's face last night because obviously he's got more responsibility when Devin Booker isn't out, when CP3 isn't out there, even though Cameron Payne has been doing a really, really good job. I've been really impressed with that kid. He has surprised me. But you can see their frustration, and he acted out. No doubt it was a dirty play. But let's not act like, oh, my God, it was, it was one of the worst things we've seen. This league has, has gotten so soft. It's far, far, we've seen far, far worse than what Devin Booker did last night. Yeah. Far worse. Yeah, it was dirty. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.